The faith, grace, love connection is righteousness. Wow, good morning. It's Wednesday, the 13th of September. That amazes me that we are pretty much halfway through September. Two more days, Rosh Hashanah starts. The head of the year, the new year, new beginnings, time of repentance. So much about Rosh Hashanah, and it's also the Feast of Trumpets. It's also when the catching away of the church will come. Be ready, be expecting, have your lamps filled with oil. The Holy Spirit, stay in a place of prayer, stay in a place of expectation. Now this is the third part of the message that I brought to Majoring in Men, Men's Group at Alliance Town Center. I will give you the information to get in touch with Edgar Stiles um, at his email if you are interested to come to this men's group here locally. And I'll also leave the website for uh, Christian Men's Network in the description below. Let's get to part three. Let's just get into the kingdom. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Detweiler, and as you see, I am not in my little studio today. I am at the Chick-fil-A at, a, what is it, Alliance Town Center, um, which is North Fort Worth, and I am at the Majoring in Men's group. That, that This is a uh, Christian Men's Network uh, uh, group that, that raises men to be Christ-like, and that's what our focus is here. Um, I have the camera just here because we have anonymity in these groups. Um, so whatever said in these groups stays in these groups. It's men to be free to be men and also be vulnerable when they need to be vulnerable. Um, just remember, when a, when a man's sitting there and he says he's fine, he's not fine, okay? And I'm gonna make some shorts out of this. Uh, there's a little joke about that, but uh, we won't get into that. And uh, so that's why I'm, I'm gonna put the information. If you're interested in a majoring in men's uh, uh, in, uh, group, near you. Um, majoring in men is worldwide. Um, our, our guy Bruce uh, Harbach, man, he's everywhere. I think he's been to Albania, uh, Ukraine, Narnia, um, so, so many places. You know, he might be uh, in a galaxy far, far away on the moons of Endor. I don't know, but he goes everywhere and he brings majoring in men everywhere. And so if you're interested in that, I'll put the link for cmn.men down there and if you're in local in the North Fort Worth area I will put uh, Edgar Stiles information in the description below also and uh, you can get in touch with him and come and join the men's group and that'd be great how you doing y'all yeah. all, right, all right and all these things will be added to you and most people get to the added to you and they want all the things but that, that's insignificant all those things are insignificant because when you're seeking first righteousness they will all be added to you. It's a byproduct of seeking first righteousness, which is the kingdom. Righteousness <coughs> is the kingdom of God. The apostle Paul confirms this in Romans 14, 7. Romans 14, 7. For the kingdom of God is not meat or drink, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So he takes what Jesus said is seek first righteousness and he applied it to the kingdom, which is righteousness, the kingdom which is righteousness. And the Apostle Paul then brings the witness to that word and then defines it and says the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So he defines that word. So we have that witness in the word. The word will always witness the word. Amen? Amen? And you guys are word people. I know that because I can bring that to you guys. You guys are going to understand that right off the bat. So now, now we have identified righteousness as being the kingdom. Now let's define the word righteousness itself. Righteousness is the thoughts of the king, the character of the king, the actions of the king. Every kingdom is, every kingdom is the manifestation of its king. Every kingdom is a manifestation of its king. No king, no kingdom. Here's the other side of that. No citizens, no kingdom. All right? No citizens, no kingdom. In, in King Jesus' kingdom, it is 
it is the kingdom which is most more significant than any other kingdom because it is a kingdom of kings that rule and reign with the king. And that's amazing to me. How? Because we are made his righteousness. We are a people who seek first the thoughts of our king, who have the character of our king, and we have the actions of our king. Now that same morning, God put on my heart Psalm 23. And right there, later on, I put on the TV to the, the live gateway feed on, on YouTube. And Pastor Morris, we're talking about witness. God will always bring a witness, right? And there's always a witness coming. And Pastor Morris said, if there's one, now this is 2022, not 2023. He said, if there's yeah. one uh, Psalm that I'd have you read every day, it would be Psalm 23. Okay, and boom, man, and that, that just stuck to me. And, uh, and that's, that's been a daily, every day before work, that's one of my daily scriptures before work. So it, I started really getting into that. And I'm going to read you, um, I'm going to read you the three, of, the three first verses um, of Psalm 23. And I'm going to do, do some expanding. It's good to have some expanding, right? So, so we get a, a greater depth of, of what's going on here. And this is how I pray in the mornings. Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I will lack, I will lack no good thing from God. All good and perfect gifts are pouring down upon me like a flood, and there is no shadow of turning in them. There is no darkness in the perfect gifts for my life from God. I receive them all by faith. And what did I do? I added other scripture to the scripture to identify the fullness of what that scripture means to me. Always start reaching for the other scripture. When you're reading something and another scripture comes to mind, put it there. Speak out the word. We are speaking beings. Speak the things. I do this out loud and we need to do it out loud. Today is the day. Today Today is the day the Lord has made, for I will rejoice and be glad in Him. Now, I'm still on this first verse, but I'm praying this to myself. Today is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in Him. And I will experience and see the goodness of God in the land of the living today. And that's, I'm setting my day. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He restores my thoughts, which are restored unto his thoughts. He restores my will into being restored into the agreement with his will. And my emotions are restored to his kingdom emotion, which is joy. You want to enter your job, your workplace with joy? Do this. Amen. Amen. Praise God for that, you know, and so verse 3 goes on to say, Lord, you lead me in the paths of righteousness that bring honor to your name, that bring honor to your name. And, and, and I love that translation. Lord, lead me in every choice and decision that I make today. Every decision, choice, reaction that I make is made with your righteousness consciousness. Hallelujah. So that every decision that I make leads me down the righteousness paths that you have planned for me before the foundation of the world so that, I, so that my life today will bring honor to your name. Amen. Now you see I added a little Romans in there. I added a little Ephesians in there. You see how I'm, how I'm bringing all the word into the word and, and then ingratiating the, the grace of God within that to uplift me? The Passion Translation is one of the translations that reads, honor to his name. Living the righteousness lifestyle brings honor to the name of King Jesus. When I think about this, I think about the days of kings and knights. I come in the name of the king. I come in the name of the king. They would not do anything to dishonor the name of their king. A knight would fight and die to honor the name 
of his king. We are the knights of our righteous king, bringing and standing for his kingdom of righteousness even unto death. Revelations. All right? Praise God. He leads me down the paths of righteousness that bring honor to his name. Remember, a knight's personal honor comes from his overwhelming devotion in honoring his king. Amen? Then in this time period, as I went from deadly COVID into moderately severe pneumonia, 2022, it was funny, in 2021 I got a word that says 2022 is for you, and he said 2022 is for me, and I, and 2022 didn't really feel like it was for me, but when I look at the revelations and stuff that he started taking me into, all of a sudden I see how what the, what the devil was trying to stop me from getting. The devil, knew, the devil knew that I was going to be getting something, and I'm going to be able to pass that something on. And so, man, attack upon attack, COVID to pneumonia to this to this, I was pretty much sick, attacked with illness through the whole year. COVID brain all the way till May. Couldn't think of stuff. It was, it was, it was crazy, but God kept me focused on this. God kept me focused on this. The Lord gave me this phrase, righteousness is the faith grace love connection now keep this phrase in mind as i progress into the kingdom of god and his righteousness because god showed me the scriptures that puts that phrase together well thank you for joining me for part three of majoring in men men's group ministering to the men of my area Sponsored by CMN, uh, C CMN Christian Men's Network dot men, and I'm going to put that in the description below. Contact Edgar; he runs this local men's group. Um, there is a certification. If you see that, let me see if I get my finger up here. See that up there? That sword up there, and that certification paper. That is the certification for being able to minister to men certified through Christian Men's Network. Edward Lewis Cole, Paul Cole. Okay, uh, his daddy is, those are most of the books that we work out of, and Paul is the one that leads this ministry, and uh, we are touching men around the world. Give me a like, give them a shout out, let's get together and bring more men into seeing themselves as being Christ-like. I love you, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.